Right now, Richmond police have their hands tied investigating two separate shootings. There are 94 cases of coronavirus here in Virginia, which includes 19 hospitalizations and two deaths. Richmond and Chesterfield are working to find more creative ways, formas más creativas, to reach the Latino community. Many businesses behind me are boarded up due to the rioting, looting, and violence over the weekend that has really shaken the city of Richmond. What would you like to say to moderate voters who call you a socialist? and believe that your policies would hurt the economy. No, our policies are going to help the middle class. Now we turn to a scary story in California this morning. A woman is behind bars accused of trying to kidnap a baby. Tonight, I spoke with an employee who says their position has been cut from this budget. They say the way the superintendent went about this is ridiculous. Officers walk by the apartment and that's when they notice this sign on the door right here that says do not disturb. So that caught their attention and they took a peek inside and saw trash everywhere. Esta es una tormenta muy grande. This tree actually fell right on top of this family's home. I'm surrounded by UVA fans and they are so pumped their team is in the lead. Good Sunday morning. Thank you for waking up with us. I'm Sierra Fox. We have a few top stories to talk about, but of course we always start with weather. Joining me now is Storm Tracker 8 meteorologist Travis Michaels. Travis, this morning I had to bundle up. It is chilly out. Right now there's a rally happening ahead of the Henrico School Board meeting where parents and teachers are voicing their concerns and expressing their opinions about what they want reopening to look like. Many have signs in their hands. Some even decorated their cars with things that say Safer school means not opening. And this little guy down here says lives before learning. Many parents tell me that they want the best for their children and teachers, and that means a safe learning environment. And right now I'm joined by a mother, Becky Hurst. Her son goes here to Glen Allen High School. Do you feel safe sending your child back to school? No, I don't. Why? While my husband and I were trying to decide whether to send him back or not, our son actually came to his own decision not to come back. The owner of the music tree is glad the accused thief suddenly changed his tune. Check out this note he left, offering an apology. I'm struggling, uh, but this doesn't give me the right to victimize anyone, and I'm sorry. Those are words from a thief seen in this video stealing a clarinet and cell phone. It's a little scary because you don't think that something like that can be happening so close to you. That's Bill Hargis, owner of the music tree. He met the alleged thief Monday morning when he walked in to buy a tambourine. A camera behind the counter caught the whole thing. When Hargis turned his back to check the price, the man makes sure no one is looking, then reaches over the counter and swipes Hargis's personal cell phone. Okay, so this one is $8.04. Next, the man purposefully moves the clarinet near the door when Hargis turns his back. Moments later, the thief picks up the clarinet and walks out like nothing happened. I just felt very uncomfortable uh, watching it. When it was going on, I had no clue. I was oblivious to what was going on. The clarinet was in the shop to be repaired. Not only is it expensive, but a sentimental gift to the man it belongs to. You come to find out that the clarinet was a gift from his grandmother when he was 16 years old, 22 years ago. The day after this video hit the internet, the accused thief went from a bad note to a good note. Video shows him returning the cell phone and clarinet and leaving it outside the front door. He also typed this note. Please forgive. I've been victimized myself. My bills are piling up. Asking for forgiveness. I'm just happy that, you know, he did the right thing and realized that his error of his ways and brought it back. As of now, no charges have been filed. The owner of this music store just hopes the accused thief has learned his lesson. Reporting in Richmond, Sierra Fox, 8 News. 8 News reporter Sierra Fox talked to those officers. She's in the Digital Center with more tonight. Sierra. Constance, Farmville police officers Dalton Foley and Olivia Martin put their own lives at risk without any hesitation. They say they've never dealt with a situation like this before and were working on pure instinct. A chaotic scene unfolds as a car bursts into flames, a woman trapped inside. We Skyped officers Dalton Foley and Olivia Martin, who responded to the call around 4.30 this morning on East 3rd Street in Farmville. We'll both be honest. Um, we had a lot of fear coming to it. We've never dealt with anything like that. Um, so, you, you know, you, kind of in the back of your head, you're scared, but you just kind of had to put it down and have to go to work. 
Is anybody in there? This is the moment Officer Foley realizes there's an unconscious woman inside the car. He quickly pulls out his knife, cuts the seatbelt, and pulls her out. Officer Martin checks the passenger side of the car to see if there's anyone else trapped inside. It was pretty terrifying because, you know, the vehicle was on fire. The officers and two good Samaritans help drag the unconscious woman away from the heavy smoke and flames. That's when you hear what sounds like an explosion. Police say this stemmed from a single car crash and the driver is a 57 year old woman. She was flown to VCU Medical Center and is in serious but stable condition. The driver may have fallen asleep or had a, had a medical emergency and drifted off the road. <laughs> Okay. Fortunately, we were within seconds of you know the fire, um, thankfully, because had we gotten there a couple minutes later, it might have been a different scenario. At this time, we don't know who the woman is. Her identity hasn't been released. We know she has been able to communicate with her family at the hospital. They're hopeful she'll make a full recovery.